Hi there guys, this is Gareth aka Plunker88 here coming at you with a look at the Jeremy Brett All Granada Sherlock Holmes Complete Collection. This is somewhat of a commodity nowadays, this particular version of this set. If you were to type this into Google or to Amazon, you would come up with three different sets. This set, which I believe is in a smaller box to what you see in front of you at the moment, not that I can get it into frame, but anyway. A green sort of luxurious set that comes from America, or a 16 disc set that we here in the UK have since produced, with this run out of allocation basically and will stop being produced. Now you may ask, why is this so much commodity? Now, to get the, the spiel out of the way, this is the complete Jeremy Brett collection of Sherlock Holmes. By a lot of people, this is considered the definitive Sherlock Holmes collection. Jeremy Brett did a fantastic job of portraying Sherlock Holmes and... I don't know if it says it on the back, because I can never remember his name, and that is... Never good. I do apologise. The person who played Dr. Watson, I'll tell you shortly, because it's on one of the discs. But those two people are, those two actors, are considered definitive portrayals of the various roles. Of course, various actors have stepped in the shoes of Sherlock Holmes. Of course, recently, Benedict Cumberbatch stepped into the shoes, and I'm a Big fan of the current generation of Sherlock, hence why I do have the Blu-rays here. They will be shown off in a video at some point, don't worry. Since checking out Sherlock, the recent one, I did want to check out where it originated from. And of course, watching some of these episodes, I can see that Benedict Cumberbatch has got an inspiration from Jeremy Brett. Anyway, let's move on, shall we? Why is this a commodity? This is a fairly bare bones sort of setup. Screenshots, blah, blah, blah. You open it up. And all of the discs are as follows. You can see them all there. This is the complete collection which it entails the adventures of Sherlock Holmes, the return of Sherlock Holmes and then the five specials. So there you go. Now if we stick this one up because I know it's open. By the way this has come from CX. I paid £45 for it. I did do a search on Amazon before actually going ahead and buying this and it was £100 from Amazon at the time. It was this particular set. There were copious amounts of pictures to prove it was this set. That had sold. And a few days later, I found a very similar set, but it looked smaller than this one, for £40. So there you go. This is what each disc looks like. And of course, it's David Burke, who plays Dr. Watson. And you get a blurb about each episode when they were made, which is quite nice, and when what series they were taken from, this was taken from The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Now, made first broadcast in 24th and the 4th, 1984. And this is, it's a very much a bare bones bundle, and there are no extras, absolutely none. None whatsoever. Just to confirm, there are no extras. <laughs> so, why is this a commodity? You may notice if you have searched on Amazon, not that I would have expected you to have, because I'm going to explain it anyway. This is a 23 disc set. The one from Amazon, that's where I found it, or other retailers, is a 16 disc set. I'm just going to let the, the, the penny drop. He probably has already, but hey-ho. I thought I'd give, you, give it time to drop because it took a while to drop for me. Because 
It's a 16 disc set. They cry more episodes per disc, resulting in lower quality. Now, there has been a lot of controversy, I suppose you could say, a lot of flack thrown against this particular series of Sherlock Holmes anyway, because the quality isn't brilliant. Apparently on the 16 disc set, the quality is even lower. I'm only going on what people have said. I'm not sure if it actually is, but what I can tell you is that the content is exactly the same. It's as bare bones as this. Difference being, you're gonna pay a lot less for the current set than you are this, because it's uh, cheaper. I think it's 20 to 30 pound I found it for, which for the quote unquote definitive collection of Sherlock Holmes is probably worth it. I've watched a couple of episodes, a couple of three episodes, and it's brilliant. It's really good. And as I said before, I think Benedict Cumberbatch has used Jeremy Brett as a source of influence. You can actually see it quite clearly. Having come from the modern Sherlock, there are a few things that you do have to get used to, such as this is set in a different era, of course, different time periods, that sort of things, but you get used to it pretty quickly and it you, it becomes like an old pair of slippers, actually, which is brilliant. Until next time, guys, this is Gareth, a.k.a. Plunk88, signing out.